What's up YouTube? I want to do a quick video on how I do my water changes. Um, since my cleaner shrimp have made it, I've actually had uh, high nitrates and a little bit of trouble going on with my sand um, because all the shrimp that they release are not being eaten by my fish and it's giving me a big headache. So I'm trying to avoid carbon dosing uh, with bio pellets or vodka or anything like that. So what I've been doing is wet skimming and it's helped out a lot. Uh, keeps my nitrates under 10 ppm. Um, I did move some of the equipment around just to make the shrimp a little more uncomfortable um, with the tank so they would stop breathing so much. Uh, I did slow them down uh, just by moving the fans and a couple rocks. But what I did was I went ahead and cleaned out my skimmer cup. Uh, I got it nice and clean and I got an empty bucket and I got it marked for how many gallons I take out of the tank. So when this wet skim comes out, I know how much to replace it with. Um, I let my water mix 24 hours and I aerate it with some airline. Um, so when it's ready to go in, uh, it'll be nice and fresh for the fish. Um, so what I like to do is I get the water level just right up to the top. Now these eShop skimmers are a little touchy. Uh, with this adjuster so if you move it a little bit it might jump so nice slow steady turns just to get the bubbles up right to the rim and when you get it where you want the cup will start filling up but you want it to be where just the bubbles are coming out and not the water so the more of the bubbles you got coming out the more of the bad nutrients uh, that you get out of your tank and the reason why I prefer to do it like this is because not all this water is bad. Um, I don't want to remove any of the calcium or alkalinity and stuff like that. So I want to remove more of the nitrates. So I use my skimmer. And the nice thing about the eShop skimmer is that I have this hose that comes out. Um, not all skimmers are available with that, especially over the back. But this one is, so I'm taking advantage of it. Now I'll give this another slow turn just to get it up to the rim and when it starts coming out I'll come back to you so I got the skimmer adjusted right where I want it as you can see the cup is starting to fill up but it's not filling up fast um, you can see small ripples inside the cup uh, showing that it's, it is spilling in um, at the top the bubbles kind of form like a little dome over the top and only the bubbling is falling over the edge and not the actual water line which makes this method uh, a little more efficient versus sticking a siphon tube inside your tank and just grabbing water from anywhere but what also works great for me is I'll clean my glass right after this starts working and I'll shut the pumps off and my canister off and a lot of the free floating algae and other stuff that's floating in the water will get grabbed by the bubbles of the skimmer and get thrown over the edge and come down this tube into my bucket. Now this method does take a while. Uh, this has only been going for about 20 minutes. So as you can see, uh, it's working nice and slow. But I would keep an eye on it just in case it starts to overflow. I wouldn't go anywhere too far uh, once you start this. Um, to get about four gallons of wet skim it's I'm like guessing it's gonna take maybe three or four hours maybe about an hour a gallon so I'll come back to you when the bucket starts filling up so it's been a little over an hour and you can see the skimmate that the skimmer produced um, it's still dark and you can see the algae they scraped off my glass is actually collecting on the edges of the water and some of the bubbles that you see inside of your skimmer cup and I much rather do a water change removing this dark dirty water versus taking water straight from the display that is crystal clear so this is just how I do it um, the salinity should actually stay the same so make sure that your fresh water that you're putting in always matches your display and happy reefing